All of the information I am about to share in this video will be confirmed if it does eventually get deleted. Made some kind of mistake. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing and then... Huh? <laughs> I'm taking you to the Queen. The realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. Well my friends, it looks like HBO is facing the same issue they did during the final seasons of Game of Thrones. Once again, someone who must work on the inside at HBO has went over on Reddit and shared nearly everything that happens in the first season of House of the Dragon only weeks before it airs on HBO Max. Now, for those of you that don't know, this same exact thing happened during Season 7 and Season 8 of Game of Thrones. Unfortunately, it does seem like this happens every single year, no matter what they do to try to avoid it. I guess when you're making a show this massive with hundreds or even thousands of workers on different sites and locations, it would be very difficult to monitor every single one of them. Now, usually whenever something like this happens, I always do wonder if someone is making everything up. It certainly would not be the first time someone went online and lied about everything by saying they knew what would happen in the following season. When I first heard about this new leak, I initially thought that it might be fake, like many of the others I've seen over the years. However, that thought immediately faded away once I started reading the things that were being said on this Reddit thread. Now, if you go and look where this was uploaded on Reddit, the very first thing you will notice is that Reddit's very own legal operations team has had it deleted from their site. Not only that, but if you look at what the moderator said, they also believe the leaks are very accurate. The moderator on this thread said, The leaks seem to be confirmed by the DMCA strikes on the other things this Reddit user has shared. They are working to find out what is wrong, if anything, with sharing this information on the site. Now, another very interesting thing I noticed is what happened whenever you try to go to the original uploader's homepage. The Reddit user who shared all of this information goes by the name of House of the Dragon Leaks. The account for House of the Dragon Leaks has been suspended. Now, you have to keep in mind, they shared this information only six days ago, so it hasn't been on Reddit for very long. Not only was it deleted by Reddit's very own legal team, but their account was shut down as well. This makes me think that someone is obviously going out of their way to make sure this information isn't readily available for the whole internet to see. Now, that doesn't mean you still can't find out what will happen during this first season of House of the Dragon. All you gotta do is scroll down and read what everyone is saying in this thread. Although the original uploader's account is suspended, you can still read most of their comments in the thread. You don't have to scroll down very far, or read very much before you start learning what will be shown in House of the Dragon's first season. Now, normally, I would show you what it says and read everything myself, but since it looks like someone is actively hiding this information, I don't want to get my video removed either. I mean, hell, they might even delete my video anyway, although I'm not actually showing you what it says. For the simple fact that I'm shining a light on this might get me into hot water either way. If my video does get deleted, that will confirm everything that has been said. Now that we're only like 13 days away from finally seeing House of the Dragon, I would not recommend reading what it says on the Reddit thread. We're about to find out what will happen soon enough. However, if any of you do want to go and read everything for yourself, then all you have to do is follow the link that is down below. Since it's already up on the internet for everyone to see, I don't think my video should get deleted for sharing it with you. I mean, it's not like I'm the one who's sneaking into HBO's offices and stealing the information. I'm only discussing something that's already out there on Reddit. I guess I will see how HBO reacts to this video soon enough. As always, I want to thank everyone for watching the video. I will be releasing a new video every day this week, so I hope I will see all of you back here for those ones as well. Have a great day everyone. I will see you again very soon. Bye.
For those of you that did stay until the very end of my credits, I thought we could have some fun by showing you one of my very first videos. I believe this was actually the third video I ever uploaded on my channel. This one is about the Season 7 leaks. In the video, I go over the first episode. I remember back when I made this video, everyone thought all of these leaks were fake. I was one of the very few who actually believed that all of them were real. The reason why I want to show this video is because I thought it would be fun so you could see exactly how bad my videos were back then. So let's begin with the first episode. It says the White Walkers are marching south on the wall. Now that seems pretty obvious. The White Walkers at some point have to get through this wall to push the story forward. The whole series has been building up towards this big battle with basically mankind fighting the others. And now that there's really nothing left up north for them to do, now that Craster's dead, there's no babies for them to take and turn into White Walkers. The Thens, the Wildlings, pretty much all the people up there have been killed off or brought south, so there's no one up there for them to turn into Whites. They really have no purpose to be up there still. So they definitely have to get south to the wall and get through it to have this big war start. So I definitely see that happening at some point. I don't know about episode one, but it's definitely going to happen next season. And it says, Bran crosses the wall back into Westeros and meets with Dolores said, the new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. And if I mispronounce his name, I apologize. And that also seems pretty reasonable. We know Bran and Mira is right outside the wall at the Weirwood Tree. And at some point, he has to get back south to get safe. With just him and Mira out there, he really has no protection against the White Walkers, which we know are going to be approaching pretty fast. Considering he has that mark on his arm, the Night's King knows where he's at at all times. And Bran knows that. After what happened at the Three-Eyed Raven's Cave, he should be well aware of what's actually going on. But he may be smart enough to realize that that mark on his arm could dispel the magic in the wall. So he could potentially send Mira to get help at Castle Black, and hopefully get John up there to protect him as he's outside the wall. That way he doesn't bring it down. But it's hard to say. He may not have time to sit up there and wait. And he may just pass through it regardless of what might happen. So that's still to be seen, to be determined. And it also says Sansa and John have an argument about what to do with the northern houses who betrayed them by fighting with the Boltons. Sansa and Lyanna Mormont want to give their lands to loyal supporters, but Jon refuses to hold the Karstark and Umber children responsible. Jon does it his way and basically tells the others to deal with it because he's not going to rule the North the way it's always been. Now that's pretty reasonable. We know Jon has always kind of done things his own way, and there's no reason for him to start changing now. I definitely think he's going to stay true to himself and want to unite everybody still. He doesn't want to kill people, you know, for no real reason, especially kids that may not have had anything to do with their parents opposing him. He's probably going to want to give these kids a chance to reclaim their houses and become loyal to, to John and fight in a war. But I could also see Sansa having a problem with that because they are the children of those who oppose John. So I could see it actually going both ways, why she'd have a problem with it and why John would just want to, you know, let them keep their lands. So I give that about a 50-50 chance of happening. And it says, at the end of the episode, Daenerys and company arrive at Dragonstone. She goes into the old war room with the table map of Westeros and turns to Tyrion and says, shall we begin? Now that's also pretty plausible. We definitely know Daenerys and company is going to arrive at Dragonstone or King's Landing very soon. Her entire story has been her wanting to get to Westeros and the King's Landing to fight for the Iron Throne, which she believes is hers, which she believes she has every right to be sitting on. And at the end of Season 6, we saw her and her supporters and her fleet and her army head towards Westeros. So we definitely know she's going to get there very soon. Episode 1, I'm not really sure. Because a report came out back in September, or maybe even before that, way before the plot leak came out, that Daenerys was going to get into a battle at sea against Euron. And that's when he was going to capture Yara and kill one of the sand, sand snakes. So if that happens, I'm not sure if they're going to have enough time to show her arrive at Dragonstone as well. Because they're going to need the first episode next year to set up all the main characters and let you know in which direction their story is going to go. So I don't know if they'd have time to show her fight Euron and arrive at Dragonstone at the same time unless the battle took place very close to Dragonstone. Or if it was a very quick battle. We know Euron's building a thousand ships, so I'm not sure 
if he had all those made in time to get out there and fight Daenerys before she arrives at Dragonstone. But he could possibly send out a small fleet to try and flank her or attack the rear to just take out some of her forces or at least try to kill or capture Theon and Yara. So I, I could definitely see that taking place. And we know she's definitely going to arrive at Dragonstone at some point in Season 7. There's already been a bunch of photos that have came out that have shown her and her forces arrive on a beach that appears to be Dragonstone. Just by the looks at some of the set pieces with the sharp and razor looking rocks, that's pretty much what Dragonstone is. So I'm pretty confident that's where she's at in those photos. So most of the plot leak for Episode 1 seems pretty legit. The story's kind of set up for all these things to take place, so I could definitely see all this happening.